Here we go. Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Is your might Lieutenant Rakeer at your service? Yeah. And... Okay. Oh, so give yeah. me a moment. Uh... And... Um, first gunnery mate, Rom. Also, where's my hat? And this year's <laughs> hat just <laughs> covering his eye. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Welcome back to LA Noir for our ninth stream of this. And <laughs> yeah, been a bit. But let's oh, see. Oh God! <laughs> Make a long story short, I had surgery and I couldn't do shit for a couple of weeks. Yeah. So. so we... <laughs> it's a very good reason not to and such. Anyways, Wait. where were we last time? It has been well a bit. <laughs> So I He's think I need to double here. check. Rob has oh. two hats. I do. It, it looks like you have two hats. Yeah, that, huh. that's because uh, the rim is the rim. There's a bit of extra on the rim uh, below it. Uh, let me double check. Any more answers? So I <laughs> I forgot to look this one back up. Okay, yeah, we were still partnering up with Shithead Roy. And let's yep. see, we're on the Naked City case. Hang on, let's see. hang on, I gotta, I gotta see where the, the Naked City, right? Yeah. Nope, we have... Wait, is the Naked City a DLC case? I forgot. I think so, yeah. Luckily, I think we're still pretty early on. I, I'm, I'm completely yeah, blanking on what is... happened. Yeah, the Naked City is uh, is DLC. Why does Naked City make, make instant think of uh, the Naked Gun? <laughs> that would be quite the uh, crossover with this. Uh, let's see, commercial, that's not yeah. there. Okay, we must be weird? at Julia Randall's apartment then. Yeah. Is it weird I still like the Naked Gun movies? Yeah, uh, Leslie Nielsen is just a national treasure. Here, yeah. Stoneman, Office uh, Stone. Five. Wait, okay, Stone. Okay, Stoneman. The only joke I didn't find that funny was in the third movie, and amusingly enough, it still led to the image of Leslie Nielsen puking in a tuba, which was funny. <laughs> like, the joke that led to it wasn't funny, but the I image swear, we the of Leslie Nielsen town, puking in a tuba was work half days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing with those is that uh, e they just rapid fire the jokes so fast that even if some of them aren't funny, you'll probably laugh at the next one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, even as kid, I remember liking them, but then some of them I was probably a bit too young to understand really the joke of at times, like uh, <laughs> when they the nice well, beaver uh, one. I found it fun as a kid, but I, I'm now as an old, I understand it better of her, and I, I'm a bit more neutral. But I, the one I always felt confused about was the protection scene in the bedroom with giant condoms. That one I always felt, what the heck are they wearing? I, uh, 
Yeah, that's what yeah. The... You're you are too young to understand. Anyways, what evidence are we missing? Like, uh, I also said protect this. I also said sex all the time, but I have never heard of a condom at that point. So I was wondering what kind of rubber gloves are those? Let's see. Morphine, possible suicides, overdose, suicide as possible cause of victim of victim Julia Randall. Okay, we got quite into this apparently. Uh, black sapphire ring, Julia Randall's apartment. Oh right, this is the uh, uh, the model who was found yeah. dead, overdosed, or but uh, have, with signs of struggle. Already, we already talked to like the housekeeper, right? Yeah. Should have. Okay, we went to the dress store. We talked to the housekeeper. Yeah, we talked to her friends. Had to break the bad news to them. And yeah, the doc was giving her benzendrine as well as stimulants. So ups and both uppers and downers. A smoking oh, vest no. from someone. Yeah, to fight to Mr. Henderson living in San Francisco. <laughs> Say Mr. Benson, Henderson, who is likely this owner. AKA amphetamines. Yeah. I think I just remembered what I thought that condom scene was. I thought it was a joke towards people with germophobia. <laughs> it isn't. The, they're just having sex, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, again. <laughs> I was also very just young. There's also just a bunch of uh, jokes that they don't react to at all. Like at one point, uh, they're walking from one room to the next, and uh, <laughs> Nielsen just walks, <laughs> walks quote unquote through the wall by going around the, <laughs> the border of the set instead of going through the door. Yes, sir. Your name? Oh God. LAPD. We'd like to see Doctor Stoneman. Doctor Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Yeah, big uh, quotation marks with one of the uh, gentlemen. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. Yeah, Give me shut a up. Break, man. I already Dr. have Stoneman, scoliosis. We are investigating the death of one of your patients. Fucking sciatic on my I'm very lower sorry to hear spine. That. Piss off. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, detective. You gave her meth, dipshit. Wait, no, that's methamphetamine. Amphetamine is something different. Let's see. What's your relationship with the victim? How well did you know Ms. Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Okay, the typical you two guess what to do, and I'll pick the correct answer anyways, and we'll see. So, truth or lie? Uh, I'm lying because you don't exactly just know someone for six months and give them a prescription for amphetamines. Unless yeah, they were really away. paying you. Okay, now he's starting to look away and all that. Well, yeah. He was always holding good eye contact until now. Yeah, so... he's looking left and right. I think it's... Yeah. I think... It, I mentioned this before, but I believe... Uh, one of the so-called ticks that people can look for when people are lying is if they are looking to the... or glancing to the right. Something to do with either half, one or okay. half of the brain. Tell yeah. me, do you often lose focus like this? <laughs> Just don't psychoanalyze me, you jackass. But it's, I believe it's, it's been a long time since I read or heard this, but something had to do with uh, one of the half you know, of the brain being associated with uh, fabrication and such. And when that activates, it sort of uh, triggers something with the eyes as well. But in this case, it is a lie, yeah. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, Sorry. detective? Do you have access to my patient records? I have no, events. but we have something that you I gave your it. patient. Yeah, uh, sure I never gave my answer. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I, I told her to slow up, but... 
No. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. So th this guy just looks like he's straight out of a PlayStation 2 game with his face. <laughs> okay, what about the additional meds? You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. I said PlayStation 3. <laughs> this was in the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era. See? <laughs> Oh, right. Doubt. Just plain old uh, doubt. Doubt and... Yeah, he's being oh, shifty again. Uh, just a moment. Just a moment. Oh, also, <laughs> what, are, what are you up to with your hands, Doctor? Doc, I swear to God, you whip it out. I'm arresting <laughs> you for public indecency. Drink your gun. Benzedrine is Come addictive. Back. As I'm sure you know, Doctor. As I warned her. But she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her I pretty mean, well. I mean, another thing you could do I is exercise and in. that. That'll be all for now, Doctor. That means you lose weight. Touch. There and you go. I'm back. Eat. Welcome back. Yeah, I, I had to. Uh, there are many things I will never understand: the world of fashion, the world of modeling, and the world of idols. Yeah. That's some extras. Yeah. Okay. And for people wondering what they said, I, I just need had to leave the call to fix my avatar for apparently he had that glitch again thinking he was speaking non-stop when I was quiet. Uh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Well we talked to the doctor. Yeah. In worst case scenario, the guy jumps and well, that's gonna be awkward. It'd be really Maybe. funny if he jumped and landed on Roy's car though. <laughs> On the one hand, would be a shame. On the You're other, uh, yeah. about what? I don't know. He looked relieved when he said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. Hmm. So you do have the ability to observe, well, anything. Okay. Yeah, this thing's lit I up. I agree with him, but somebody did feel off with him. Let's see. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. Okay. Well, I guess we know where to head instead then. Okay. Yeah, he's probably going to confirm that she probably didn't die by suicide. And yeah, we have at least one suspect. Or plausible suspect at the moment. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we? Hollywood headed? receiving hmm. hospital. Wait. Okay, why can't we go to the coroner's? That's oh, well. because oh. it's attached. It, that's because the hospital okay. is attached to the station. My bad. I, I thought <laughs> when I looked at the locations before, I thought we still had another place. The physician patient privilege card when I got some to hide. There are certain things people have a right to keep private until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest mm. secrets in a heartbeat. A couple more drinks and they wouldn't even remember it. Probably. Okay. <laughs> Night entrance? They probably have one for like regular people and one for like those that are on the night shift yeah uh, um, no wait, need to wait, go wait, by the pass wait, 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 from we this one. There. what it's just night and dress it's day <laughs> i think going? it's actually pointing toward it, i'm thinking it's actually supposed to point to around the corner but it doesn't have to bend in it oh oh yeah it does 
Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's read those signs there. But what does it? It's do not, not leave. leave prisoners unattended. This uh, is again attached to a police station. Yeah. And this is this is still a hospital bit, not just a, a morgue. Because if that if that sign was still here and it was just a morgue, I then I uh, would question how many people no, so sure. <laughs> play dead to get out. I'm imagining oh, Roy, a I scene from an episode of Doctor House where they're yeah, like the autopsying a guy who died, with it. The bruising and then there's that he was alive pain, so and just woke killers. up. Death was yeah. caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us no, down kid. here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. Mm. Here's okay. another dead Now, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening now. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, now. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Mm -hmm. Check the dead guy, or check the other... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> he's been plenty beaten. Okay. Luckily, I don't have to censor these, I hope. I mean... I, I already hard. have the Mature Games <laughs> note on, so Twitch should stay off my back on this. Uh, you mean, stay off your back, not up your back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. There Finally. <laughs> Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Okay. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Shut up, Roy, or you're going on the slab next. Okay, now who was asking for us? Yeah, probably it would the be chief. Nice if our next partner is the nurse of some people. Not an Oris. I think he's an interviewer. Mr. Arnett, too. I'm Mary's Detective Phelps. Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Okay. Oh, oh fiance of Heather Swanson. Oh, right, fiance of the the friend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why what, are you what's here? Your, what's hmm? your relationship with the victim? How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. Where the phone? Yeah, here's the thing. I'm calling bullshit. Just for the record, I'm calling bullshit. Okay. I'm a bit doubtful of your story. They are yeah. keeping eye contact and unless they have a good poker face. I'd say it's a poker yeah, face because they got yeah, but... the good stare, but uh, the rest of them is yeah, twitching. The... See, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, if this guy's a fiance of the friend of the victim, that means. He must have known the victim, right? Yeah. So I'm a bit doubtful on your bullshit. <laughs> Look here. I am pressing, uh, guessing doubt. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain Who private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had relations. Mm, we got that out of them at least. Will it be polite? What? Wait, I think it's more worse than unpolite. Yeah. 
Jackass. Way worse. Jack Jackass was cheating on his fiance. So uh, if that gets out, wedding's off. Yeah. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Miss Randall's sure, that's landlady a, said a she was thing seeing people an should man. live by, but Could have been. nobody ever I does. Wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Let's see. Oop. What did the housekeeper say? Oh, they, no, they are being shifty. It's uh, Mr. Henderson living in San Francisco. Let's see. Yeah, da, 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 da. said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Okay, this one is a Would bit of a... Fucking her. It's actually... Do we have anything... Yep. Give me a... Okay, 27 is... Hmm. Uh, we'll, uh, okay, we can actually back out of questions as well, it seems. Okay. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Hmm. Look at him. Yeah, poker around. face is gone. Yeah, I'm Rikia? a bit... Uh, I am doubting them. Yeah, I still no. Proof. no, no, no. Lying. He's lying. I know he's lying. We have proof? <laughs> Henry. I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Actually, he is from San Francisco, and we know this because of the housekeeper. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. Okay, I have to say that one was a bit of a stretch to go for, which assuming that's a lie or, well, tying... Actually, it's very clear that he is bullshitting, but to me... You only really get, uh, you only really know which piece of evidence to pick after you already accuse him of lying. It's a good thing, though, that you can back out of that. <clears throat> so, Noel LeBlanc. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? You know, I just realized he has oh. the same name as, you know, I just realized Jimmy LeBlanc has the same last name. As a guy who plays Joey in Friends. <laughs> Joey okay. LeBlanc? No, no, no. No, the no, actor. Matt LeBlanc. The actor is Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, Matt LeBlanc. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, yeah he's right. His name... The one I was was Joey Tribbiani, not Joey LeBlanc. <laughs> yeah. Also, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Wait, what? Yeah, he one died. of them died recently. Oh. The, yeah, the guy who played Chandler died. Oh, oh, may he rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm What's still hunting him in New. I'm still hunting him in New Vegas, and probably will put one in between the if eyes. All, nothing personal for the guy. I probably need to get home. Also, I'm pretty doubtful of your bullshit. Right here. I am doubtful of this guy as well, for he seems very shifty as well. So, much it can, so you can wouldn't have smoke. any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But, like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Oh, like he was smoking. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Hello. He's quick to pull that out. Director. Kind of traveling well, once I got out of the core, I used my. You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? <laughs> uh, various companies. Bullshit. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? <laughs> Okinawa. So hard. You never I'm bullshit a Marine, places. dude. You that never bullshit now, service in front of a Marine. You've been very helpful.
That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Hello. Phelps knows Hello. how to Hello. load his mouse traps. Yep. I love how Phelps pretty much lights. sniffed him out as, as he's bullshitting and he's just giving him two, two minutes you know. to get a far enough away so that this doesn't look like we're tailing him. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Yeah. Phelps <laughs> specifically does not like that. Okay, of course this guy has a car that st and stands out like a sore thumb as well. Like, why do you always have to so noticeable? Easy to catch, Careful, and also we'll it was the 40s, and people just painted their car bright fucking yellow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, It's a good thing that he looks a bit like a banana then, because he's going to get uh, shafted. What? <laughs> because a banana looks like a dick, and we're going to fuck him up the end. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I guess the game cut me off from saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that karma moment striking you? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> well, I guess I don't need to bonk you. All right, we can't That's skip. A... Actually, we can. Okay. Hmm, typically, they'd start to say, uh, back off if you get too close. Actually, maybe you don't. Okay, at least Rory has some cognitive <laughs> capability to figure shit like this out. Okay. Hmm. I'd have expected a cat like Arnett to be a better liar. Honestly, everybody who thinks they're a good liar is always the one who's kidding. Yeah, the, the only one they're good at lying to are themselves. Pretty much. Could could that thing stand out any more? I mean, it could have a police light and be playing the theme from the Naked Gun. <laughs> With neon lights following wherever it goes. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Um, typically, okay, typically the people who are most eager to be seen are the ones... Uh, least to be taken seriously like a clown is dressed to know uh, to be noticed sorry I'm planning on getting a new microphone one that's on the table okay yeah I didn't hear anything on this end if uh, you accidentally knocked it or something yeah if I was to see what we are apologizing for yeah, I burped by accident. Okay, uh, mics are typically okay. pretty good at keeping it out. Yeah, I never stepped foot in Okinawa. <laughs> Phelps is personally offended now. I mean, he did go to Okinawa. Yep. Hmm. Also, the ones drawing attention being most likely you know, being most likely the bullshitters comes in a lot of stuff because actual people who have gone to war do not brag about that shit and the same way people who are actually rich keep the fuck shut about that got that the right way around because they are well they are confident in what they can have been through and are capable of He needs money and fast. He's bailing. Get in there and find 
find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him, see how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Any louder, he, I think he can't hear you three streets over. I know there are some people who have been wars and have been very prideful, but those are rare, usually... Reserves? Not always, just people that uh, maybe should not go to war to begin with. Yeah. yeah. Due to never being... Cuckoo? Yeah. That's the Too thing about war. They, most Close of the it, time, they accept I'll anybody the who is capable of here. standing up straight and holding a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Psych eval is something they literally wait yeah, on until after throwing somebody. Why do you think so many people came fucked up from Vietnam? Mm -hmm. the cop that won a medal for solving all those cases? What are you doing? Actually, weirdly enough... No, oh, come on, there's a fucking tree in between. Yeah, you're supposed to sit down and look at a newspaper or something. <laughs> he, oh yeah, that's Much a slack. thing. Yeah. You, you, you've done me that for the first few streams and months now. <laughs> a broad has socks in it. Okay, he'll just do that if we get too close. Just <laughs> no matter where. Uh, let's not skip it. Nice that they do offer it. Move in. Can't risk losing yeah. the trail. I, I think the belts. only real uh, around, combat psychopath here. that's a bit laudable that I know of personally was uh, one of the guys that Sabaton made a, a song about. The soldier that you just refused to die. I forget his name. I wish I heard that song. Yeah, I, I'm forgetting oh. the exact title of him. Of it. Oh, have I? Oh, this is tricky. I'm not sure if I heard this one or not. But yeah, guy went. But yeah, guy went through uh, three uh, three wars, <laughs> and still died of old age. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, eye patch, fake uh, prosthetic hands. Um, enjoyed the war. One of his big lines. Uh. Gotta get closer. Maybe it was sarcastic, like. Yeah, I enjoyed the war while showing his missing hand that's replaced by prosthetic. Yeah, and his <laughs> his eye patch, which appeared. Oh, oh come on! He fucking caught you. At that distance. But yeah, I, I think he got shot at least twice in the same fucking eye. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Oh, and once, it, once his blindness, oh, twice is here. God hates you. <laughs> okay, control was it to go into cover. Okay, that'll oh, help no, hide. I just remember something. Something is sort of similar, Looks but like. not. What? what? Part is sort of war related? A. I forgot her name. But she survived okay. three sinking ships for the same. Company. As the same company that owned Titanic. <laughs> Too much slack. Mm. Gotta get closer. Yeah, shut up, Phelps. She even survived when one of the ships hit a landmine and the boat got dragged into the propeller. She survived after her head hit the propeller without being shredded. Yeah, and seeing how much force is behind those things. Yeah, that's extremely lucky. Yeah, she was oh, lucky, oh, but on. no one else survived. At least no one else survived the propellers, that is. Okay, let's do this at least one more time, then we skip. Wait, can we skip the whole... This whole uh, sequence? Move in. Can yeah. risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. I'm surprised we can skip that, this whole thing. 
he'll complain that we're too far away, but if we get too close, he's going to get suspicious. And let's see, the Sabaton song is the unkillable soldier. Okay, I think I've seen the recommend, but I haven't listened to that one. Oh no, now I remember something else. I, I think I heard it was someone. I forgot in which war, but someone. I think it might have been the Second World War. Somebody else destroyed a German tank with an axe. Okay, sounds more like they probably disabled it. Uh, let's see, anything here that says what the fucker's name is? No. Or oh, wait, up there. Okay, also up there. There he goes. So we go the long way. Just to avoid his rather bullshit detection range. Then again, he's being antsy. So, I think I already asked this question, or we had this conversation once, closer. but who do you think would solve the Kira case? Uh, the witch case? The, the one from... Uh, in. You Everest know, the whole the Death Note thing. Oh, we that. Made a meme about it. Um... Well, if we put Phelps to it, he probably would. And let's see, like, dude's he name oh, was Adrian the Weird. <laughs> of course, he's going to a travel place. Oh, Cueva. Yeah. Adrian Carton the Weird, as in W I A R T. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. It's busy enough in Mexico. LAPD, the man who just came in here, you bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. It should go without question. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Hmm? Hello. Oh my God. It's Fabergé. That's expensive. I the look on the broker's face when I told him to hand it over. Ooh, yeah, the that... guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. Yeah, Fabergé... I don't know exactly what the meaning of the word is, but it is expensive as all fuck. Dearest Beverly, with love and affection always. And huh. I couldn't read cursor for the life of me, otherwise, but I can't tell what that signature is. I think that's a J. Probably. Yeah, that's a pricey little egg. Typically when you're talking about Fabergé, you're talking about Fabergé eggs. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Uh... As well now. All right, where to? Might as well look up what the hell Faber J actually means now, whilst they go for a ride. Stomach? Shut it. There. Car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall case. Oh, hello. Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 Another. King, go ahead. RNI reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was patrolman Fred Wallace. He's working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Gordon and Wilcox. Car 11K, on route. <laughs> Just poof. Argon. <laughs> Okay, so some familiar faces are have, are waiting for us with some info. Hmm. <laughs> Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Why are we going for that all of a sudden? Is the cigarette case on there? Oh, damn. 
Uh, let's see. Definitions of Fabergé. Russian goldsmith noted for creating a series of jeweled and enameled Easter eggs for European royalty. Okay, so that's where those fuckers come from. Fabergé eggs. It's literally his, his name. I... And higher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Emerald rings, wireless Gold radio. Oh, L Black sapphire ring. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. And the cigarette case. Look up. Same person. Uh. Fabric gold cigarette case. Ah. Look up. I missed here. that. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Let's see. There was also yep a pearl the ring. Engagement ring was purloined. Arnett is a cad. Okay, so ba basically Fabergé is gold and jewel encrusted. Cigarette case, sapphire ring, pearl ring, pillbox, there should be a pillbox. I think I saw that... Up, 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 silver pillbox. Yep. Seems Julie wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Okay, well, I think we can yeah, we can tie some knots together. We have a jackass who hired a uh, a burglar and used the stuff he stole to uh, well get himself some doves. Okay. Now let's go talk to the officer who arrested LeBlanc. Uh, let's see, where do we need to... Where did it say to go for him again? And also, didn't we just get... Hollywood 9 beat. Yeah. Okay. And then we go out here. Yes, we can. Okay, but the car is the other way. Okay, but weren't we told that uh, Galloway and Bukowski had more info for us? Where the hell are they? I think they're the ones that got the contraband list. You're behind okay. the wheel. And now we get to hear someone screaming, extra, extra, hear all about it. I think really? we heard it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and if we set a destination, we don't need to select one, it seems. Okay. Nice little quality of life bit. <clears throat> or if we have one set. Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Okay, Roy's dealing with him. That leaves two on one on this one. Okay, yep, there you are. Oh. Roy, you're bad at this. Point your gun and <laughs> shoot at the air. Okay, you <laughs> guys. Guy does not have a glass job because I'm pretty sure I put a bullet through it. We shot through one's head. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong buttons because it's been a bit. I thought that killed him. <laughs> Just shot him in the <laughs> shot him in the dick. Uh, or not. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Nope. Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. And he got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man. 
A wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You're yeah, great. You too badly yourself. Looks like we'll have to deal with the whole damn circus. Residents now. You drive. I need to oh, go man, oh dear. Where are we going? Okay. Oh, the, the person who is stuffed with been jo stolen from. Okay, chauffeur. Off we go. Is still working with Willie. It's about Robocop. Strong men held down Randall Eddie. while someone administered the war. Someone with muscle opened up the wrong skull. Could be. Mm, yeah. And I was kind of going for that, yeah, because of the new Robocop game where if you shoot someone in the dick, they will actually respond to that nice with the, uh, well, <laughs> signature move from the movie. Yeah, just. Also, I want to point out that is LAPD, technically speaking Robocop's is first time Eve's using his gun she on is. the beat Would you follow me, sir? to castrate a rapist. <laughs> I, I, I do want to play that game eventually, when it's on sale. Recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, okay, I need a better PC. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some <laughs> questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning forty-three pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? 43. If they steal the whole damn room. Who are these? Okay. Who, do these who do these people think? They, no, wait, hang on. Okay, I got the joke. Who do these people think they are? The British? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a line that I've, a joke I've seen a few times now is that the only reason that these, <laughs> that the pyramids aren't on display in the National Museum is because they're too big to steal. What the? Tell um, me I'm wrong. Hill? Hmm? What happened to our soundboard? Uh, what? We're missing, uh... Yeah, give me a second on this. new ones you added. We have no bonk. We have no Wilhelm. We have no... Goofy. The heck? Let's see. Soundboards. The uh, I see them. Scroll up. I am. It says only. It t tells me add sound. Okay, weird. Must be a glitch on your end, I'm guessing, then, because I'm seeing them and I can use them. No, no, they're there again. Okay, just a, a Discord fart, I'll say. Alright, okay. now I can bonk uh, Rom. Why me? Yoked about the British. Okay, oh, back to our usual schedule. Let's see, list of stolen items. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Shifty, shifty, shifty. As she's lying. <laughs> what Don't is with that Cruella de Vil look? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Okay. Because we have the case, case, and it was rated at le far, far less than that. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? And that's the commission. There. Yes. My daughter's boyfriend was quite <laughs> yeah, that's admission of case. crime. I think he was even more disappointed than I certain. was when it was stolen. The IRS is going to have a word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Burglary incident reports. What can you tell us about the burglary? That terrible night. At least a year ago. 
But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Eager. I think you... She has not realized something she's not allowed to do. <laughs> See, side look that also says truth. Especially since all she's doing is blinking. Yeah, I think she's being truthful, but I don't like how she just refused to ignore a possibly important question. Can that be? But he asked what happened that night, and she asked, Still, did you not want to talk about it? Like, I can understand the trauma and all that, but. And she already uh... admitted to fraud. So. I think uh, we might have been dealing with uh, a theft that might have been a bit more orchestrated. Maria, I think we'd best get this officer a drink to get him moving. He looks rather gormless. Don't know what that means. Don't care. But you are telling the truth. Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. Hello. I returned home and... Well, All of my easy. things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello. Hello, Detectives. Fair enough, Roy. What is going Fair on? Fair enough. We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Oh, he's br he's bringing the fiance. Oh, don't <laughs> have no fury. Okay. Uh... Okay. Even for this time, that bus looks goofy. We might want to set up where we're going. Yeah. Oh, she Oops. she is going to be a she is going to be a pain in the ass as a backseat driver. Wait, did you mean the thing that drew past us was a car? Yep, that was a van of some sort, and it just looks... Uh, all of these things just look so uh, flashy and such, even this thing before us a bit, and then just, just a, a big old uh, toaster that drives past. Arnett is obviously a sparks. <laughs> That's my fiancé you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner, but neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous, both of you. There's, there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy, and you're not even smart enough to see it. <laughs> for once, we must agree, reluctantly. Okay. Now let's see if we can get there without any fender benders. Someone could have switched lanes a lot earlier. I'm <laughs> still just amused by how ridiculous that car looked. <laughs> it, it really did look like a launch box on wheels. Yeah. I mean, it did. No, I'm okay. hungry again. Aren't you always? Oi! <laughs> I'm a growing lizard, alright? <laughs> they are growing fast. Oi! <laughs> they left yourself wide open for that one. It's not my fault that this freeze just happened to be on time. So rather, like, normally I would eat at some different times, but I realized if I were to eat at that time, it would mean I would have to go away in the middle of the stream. 
So that one coming. Okay. About time to switch off. Okay. Still got a. I still got to like like all the retro looks of everything and such. Has And earlier today we had that retro, uh, <laughs> retro Machina, which was all about uh, sci-fi re retro looks from this era. Now we're actually a bit later than this, since this is still the 40s, the late 40s, but still. One, two, three. There's all the fallout, which never advanced past the 50. Oh. <laughs> we're behind one well, of the lunch boxes. They kind of the ones from the 50s, just they never left that aesthetic. Yeah. It's like if uh, Twilight became uh, the cultural zeitgeist for the rest of the freaking century. Oh god. Also, how far night. away does this jackass live? Apparently he lives. We do not talk about the Twilight. And there's another launch. <laughs> Where are all of these launch boxes coming from? I, I guess they're delivery vans. <laughs> and another one. Okay, that taxi really took a really sharp one. And another across. <laughs> so, I'm sent to the flip a counter. No. Hmm. Would have hit that if I didn't stop. Crossfire. There we go. Probably a movie from the time. There's a bunch of real-life references around. Not nothing that can be copyrighted, of course, I believe, or that is copyrighted. So the orchestra is just having the time of their life at the moment. Okay. Deep. There we go. <laughs> Without a right, scratch. 7.20 p.m. That is a very bright and sunny 7 p.m. <laughs> Probably on, sister. summer. Let's find out who your fiancé really is. Okay. I, I can't... I, I'm probably not the only one who is... Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. A bit nervous, but then again, two uh, detectives just walked up. And she just teleported to the other side of the elevator. <laughs> well, isn't this just nice and awkward? Shyster. I'll show you how Okinawa actually was. Actually, our net dead body was in the cutscene before you pulled out the gun. I'm not sure if that was him, but let's see anyways. Oh, this again. Yep. Uh, he, he's waiting for us around the corner. Hey. If we fall too many times, we... Oh, come on, I was counterbalancing there. Well, you're close to the end, anyway. And... <laughs> How many times are you going to fall for that? Helps. It's like the third time. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. Yeah, I told you, that was our net. How do I get back here? Yeah, not dead. Steam, miraculously, he came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. How <laughs> was our net? He's coming around too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? 
Better than common sense. Look in the suit. Oh, there should be a suitcase beside the... There we go. Hey, look! I take it to Mexico. You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? And a watch. Something more about this. Should That's be. it. Asheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. I don't see the value in it. present from my parents. A watch is a watch, for all I care. No matter how many diamonds you stick in that thing, it's not going to make it any more useful. But is that a sword? Uh, where? On the wall? Up. No, that's a rifle. No, 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 not that one. Uh, There's a wall. So, there. Dark, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's actually a, a sword of some sort. Hmm. Yeah. Looks and Eastern they... stylish. I think it's Eastern, but it's not Japanese. I can say that. Yeah. That's not Japanese. It's too... Is that a tie? I think it's... Too... I think it might be Chinese. Could be. Yeah. Somewhere between anyway, there and the Middle East, probably. Let's see. Anything we can find here? Nope. We should have everything. Okay, time to talk. Okay. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the leg work. I'm in the fashion business. Yeah, I'm gonna head and say lie. Just, just plainly lie. I say lie. Yeah, he's keeping the poker face, but it might also just be brain damage. You're lying. True. <laughs> How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Hey, what do you know? You tried selling a, fa a Fabergé case. Yeah, that is definitely not addressed to you, since you don't have any names with J in them. Other than Jackass. You pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties, and find out where and when, and then have the guests burgle. Julia was... <laughs> Desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Oh, she looks pissed. Okay. Yeah. Why <laughs> did Julia die? Or Why actually, we have a motive. Kill Julia Randall. I, I wanted to stop to, to get out of that life. I was gonna marry Heather, and she'd have. It. Julia told the others that that they were out. She was going to create a, a new gang. I tried and yeah, right throwing the corpse under the bus, huh? I don't uh, believe him. Yeah, he's lying, especially since he has a ticket to Mexico. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? I mean, she's, she's you, literally have a ticket, you, you literally have a ticket to Mexico right now. Yeah. yeah. You are really bad yeah, at this. You told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night, that it's a one-way ticket. Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. To pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. And that was just <laughs> admitting to the murder. And thing, who the fuck is Mr. Henderson? Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Contraband list, yeah. dipshit. 
Oh, they are so lying. Yeah, she's, she just doesn't see or refuses to see that... Um, Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. But we do. Luckily we do, yeah. But yeah, she, she just can't or refuses to see that... Uh, the only reason he's wanting to marry her is because of her mother's riches. Which he actually probably stole himself anyway, so he got himself a taste early. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. Do you want to explain how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties, he arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just right. kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. Mm, great. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, <laughs> knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. <laughs> okay, I think the animation went a bit backwards there. Congratulations, you're now going to prison. This yep. is why you don't do burglaries, kids. Definitely not murders. So there's a good chance that uh, he is going to meet another kind of stripes, the one that leave marks on their neck, on, the, on his neck. Anyway, just, you know the way. Just do we know where Again. we're going? Yep. Oh, um. no, I get what he means. Vampire zebras. No, a <laughs> rope. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. The meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there. I'll be right like back. And Gotta go. Next time you can take that. Okay. I didn't box right. in the Marines though, did I? Should have never told you that. Uh, I, I I think I think Roy should be a bit more impressed since Phillips managed to stagger back across that freaking plank or whatever that we crossed. He managed to do yeah. that with a head injury. Oh, God. Okay, the good doctor is going to be wishing that he got stoned off his own supply because we're about to book him. Okay. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. <laughs> okay, that was a good one, Royal. I'll admit that at least. Wait, what? What did he say? Time for the doctor to give us something to make it all better. A confession, preferably. Also, who the hell picks your ties for you? Oh, are those pills? Those are pills on his tie. Didn't they really make those kind of ties back then? Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to... Come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She... never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. 
No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Um... And badly, isn't it? Ah! Ah! Well, shit. Didn't see that coming. It would have been really funny, though, if that was Roy's car he landed on. It was. Yeah. Now his face is pink. Well, well, we might as well, um... Investigate? Yeah, I guess. Or call it in. Operator, give me R and I. Uh, we got a suspect. He I just committed suicide. Now. I need an ambulance on the corner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iver Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. Okay. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. Yeah, we have. Yeah, this this was a group of five about. So this will be number four. Circumstantial. Uh, I mean, uh, and we're interested in the little case, but oh well. Not much help. Yeah. I think uh, so, is this thing lit? Uh, no. Yep, it's just soap. <laughs> Going to need a lot of soap to clean him off the ground. Oh, and the yeah. car. Gonna need a bit more than soap. Probably a high pressure wash or high pressure hose. Yeah. Was that even a thing back then besides fire trucks? I don't think so. That old boy really fell for that broad. Okay, that one was too soon. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Good. Ugh. So that's why no one ever will ever love you, Roy. <laughs> I'm gonna punish him more and more. Hey, how about we run him over on the car? We like take the car, drive off, and then run him over. <laughs> just, just for once. Isn't that hey, can we, can we do that? Him? Yes. Yeah, we yeah, can. He, just, he, just he, he's too fast. <laughs> I know you can do it. You, you get in the car. I think he's a. I think he's a, I think he's a bit squirrely today. Where are we going? Don't we need to investigate the body? Nah, he literally just committed suicide, and we know where Willie is. Yeah. Plus, uh, he'll have to deal with that. Okay, we just have to get after the rest of the gang. Okay. He's around here somewhere, a big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. Okay. The harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Meat? Come on, Roy, really? Wait. Cool. You hear that? Most definitely. I think we are hearing a jailbird sing. Yeah, I think my mic is picking it up from my own headphones at the harmonica. <laughs> he has he has some lungs on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's no harmonica. 
Wait, I expect them to be bigger. They literally oh, cool. put in your hand so you can do the harmonica thing. Yeah, he almost dropped his gun as well and... Wait, haven't we wait, been here before? Wait, that... Actually, we might... No, 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 no we, we haven't. Yeah, we have, we've been near one of these signs before, at least. Yeah, we have. Could you imagine if you, like, threw, like, in a panic, instead of throwing his harmonica and drawing his gun, he throws his gun and draws his harmonica? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can see that happen in a panic. Okay, where are you? I think if I remember correctly, there's an achievement for shooting down all of the side, all of the Broadway on the sign up there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is. Wait the son of a bitch. Well, let's. Yeah. What? <laughs> My regards. There we go. Two for his mouth to chew on. Son of a bitch really picked this spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. Keep your she pants really on. Made an impression on me. Julia had that Bill. impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy! I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. Well, that took a bit of time, but we got it finished. And a perfect case. Okay. Julia Randall Julia. lived fast and died young, sending one man to jail and three to the morgue. Also, we didn't destroy the entire city, despite the fact that we also shut down an entire sign. Yeah. yeah wait, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Why did we? Him... Anyway, him... I think that's. A, I think only city damage is call uh, with cost with the car counts. Anyways, <laughs> the achievement "Give My Regards" is named after the song "Give My Regards" to Broadway. <laughs> And okay. why you have to shoot down the Broadway sign. Oh. Uh, I, I think the borders of it were glowing, so that's a that's a an achievement that less than five percent of people of players have, or at least owners of the game have. <laughs> okay. okay. Meanwhile in Okinawa. Oh, that's a big one. The whole company is gone. The Major is dead. We're being overrun. We have to get off of this hill. That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole. The 22nd are still fighting. And Hank's dead. Cole, looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. 
Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. Imagine that you get a promotion for just living long enough. Yeah, oh my God, maybe basically. that's how it works in the Imperium. <laughs> Probably. And now we have Manifest yep. Destiny, and now yep. I can finally look up. <laughs> they were, they were oh, almost Phelps. spawned in for a, a second. That's a 111 club. 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Uh, you should you should learn to keep your yap so. shut, Roy, when the, <laughs> your boss is talking. God damn it. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. And you just seem to find them more when you're working in vice. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down one round. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, 45 caliber. He's talking about a revolver. So he's talking about a pistol right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Him and that wall makes me wonder why does he want to put them down in one shot? Like the stopping because power. 40, yeah, stopping power. Basically, forty-five was one of the is still one of the stronger pistol cartridges there is. And yeah. back then, it was one of the stronger the cartridges. Period. Especially since it was ubiquitous in the United States. And most Carter officers and were assigned 38 to to specials, job. which were weaker, but also the revolvers with six shots. About time. Okay. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Yeah, I think like the Desert Eagle fires close to point fifty or something. Fifty-eight. Okay. I think I heard of uh, some strong ones, but they have been made illegal due to the how guys are already how they are. Bukowski, Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand, you can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if like I take you? a look around? Be my guest. I hate the fact that you I might want to work with the hostess, funny. too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. And let's see, Grunt 560, the 45 comment is a not the Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood for movie, okay. Uh, welcome to the show, <laughs> Grunt. Yeah, what the Grunt. show? Actually, in Harry's case, he uses a 44 Magnum, 45 ACP, is what job. they're talking about at this, around this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rom here knows his guns, uh, between us is Alien, and yeah, how are you doing today? Well, I hope. Better than these guys, probably. Yeah, and I'm drunk here. <laughs> okay. And the one next to me is Rom. He's a good boy. Just pump that thousand up. rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Makes it look like they decided to reenact the Valentine's Day massacre on the poor bastard. Yeah, just the entire place shot the ribbons. Never heard of that one. Basically, yeah, basically a mob work. killing. Oh. It's... It, it, no. uh, basically, you know, the Tommy gun and such and its reputation, well, they oh, emptied five of those into a band of uh, 
uh, into a band of smaller time crooks or a rival mafia. And, uh, well, it was big, big news then. Holy. Okay. Smile for a camera. Let's see. Anything in your pockets? Yep. Yeah, of course. We have a new source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Okay. Anything in the other pockets? Let's see. Grunts. I'm okay as a retired vet. I can understand Phelps. He's a cop with PTSD. Yeah, big time PTSD. Yeah. He had someone explode all over him. Yeah. Holy. Poor thing. And it, yeah, when, when you get the realization that uh, you as a person can just be turned into a, a full body smear, yeah, that does a thing or two with the mind. Okay. So, was he a user, or was this another drug house? Let's see. What are you looking at there? Well-maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Okay, are we going to find stuff in the thing again? Hmm. I can't really tell if it is or isn't that well maintained itself. Looks, I, I think I have, uh, I think I have uh, film grain off. So, I guess that's just how this thing looks. Is there anything more with that thing? Hmm. He's not saying irrelevant stuff and such. Oop. Hello. Oh, okay, move. Then insert. Last one. Then insert. Ah, hello. Trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Okay, that explains why the case looks better than the trumpet itself. Yeah. What's this? The blue room. Should follow up yeah. on the musician angle. Okay. Anything else? Oh, uh, of course. Kept his stash close at hand. Yep. Okay, nothing else in here. Nope, there's a spoon, but that's for other materials. Okay, there's probably some uh, magician's uh, shop around here somewhere who makes a bank on special cases like that. Uh, Little special cases. Something on the back of the ticket. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. Uh, I've, I've got a guide on hand for the interview questions, but not on clues. Uh, do I just do the same again to open it up? Yeah. Yep. Bit much easier. Let's see. Can okay. we flip it? Try looking at the back or clicking. Hmm. Yeah, I can't turn like it there. enough. Okay, we like, can what? check can it. We... Hmm. That's weird. Why can't we just turn it? Yeah, I guess there's no relevant info on the back of it. Is that a, just a SIG or a joint? Yeah, and also, yeah. In, the, in the room you were almost heading to earlier, I was hearing the sound of uh, there was something in it. We might want to yeah. check the back room. Yeah, I heard that the uh, melody play up. As yeah, let's check there. the back room, but not the back rooms, because uh, Phelps would be a bit out of luck if we were in then. Hello. That's a lot of tobacco. Army surplus again. Oh, is that? Must have been moving contraband through the club. Oh, oh right, yeah, because they send, they send soldiers out with uh, smokes and such. And hello. Bunch of stolen BARs or bars. I still can't figure out what they call them. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. 
How did he get three of them? And the three marines who snuck off with them. Let's see, is there anything else here? Let's not walk over the corpse, yeah? Uh, uh, witness? Captain wants this one cleared up quick. Let me know how it goes with the dope. Okay, yeah, that, that's their side of it. We're just interested in finding the drugs. Oh, hello. Probably talking hmm. to the hostess. Yep, yep. Roy? I, I, I think, I know you can do with the smoke right now, but personal space. What the heck? Uh, we should probably check his pockets for a carton of the cigarettes after we leave here. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Uh, let's see. Grunt, if I, if I may call you that simply. Ballistic Automatic Rifle. Okay, that's, so that's what BAR stands for. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, sorry, gun nerd here. Browning Automatic Rifle. Yeah, it also works, yeah. <laughs> that's probably more accurate because I think I saw something of Browning on the mark of it. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Uh, why are you dressed in uniform then? Doubt. Maybe she was on her way to work. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on a slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, run this fine. Okay. Uh, Mr. Goldrick. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. <laughs> uh, yeah, P people who tend to get a bunch of money all at once tend to waste it just as quick. Yeah, hmm? I know. Tend to. Okay, what's the verdict? All things considered, she doesn't exactly have any reason to lie about Eddie, sh Eddie fucking up, running yeah. a nightclub. I think she's being truthful. I don't think see her <laughs> even trying to do a poker face. Yep. So truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. You know, Thank tobacco, you for your guns, he was over his head, morphine. But he was a decent boss. Okay, well, I guess she's quitting. I mean, to be fair, there's nobody really to quit to. Yep. Okay. Her boss just get wasted. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? No, there is something more. So let's keep a bit of an eye out. Uh, we have uh, that. That must be Eddie. Yep. Okay. Okay there. Why right over there? Okay. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city, he's sure to do you in. Yeah. Are you packing? Apparently not. Try the breast pocket. Oh, right. Uh, a bit high. Yeah, this just goes for there again. I'm not seeing mm. anything of a lump in there, so I'm guessing there's not. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah, I think I think he got jumped. Yep. I think he got jumped whilst he was in the side room here. Yeah, because he and I shot think in the back. I know what, what may have happened. I saw something opened there. That thing. Nope. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Doesn't look yeah. like they even needed to crack it. And we've got a 
a, quite a pistol, quite a bit of money, and ammo for it. And I'm guess, yep. well, I'm guessing Phelps isn't interested in anything else. It's either a folder underneath the gun, or just something to keep it from touching the metal or something. What thing? Uh, the yellow thing. It looks like a folder of sorts, or it, it's it's rather thick. So it's is that just wood or? Yeah. Seems I'm sure. To, and... yes. to have the gun there. Yeah, a oh, bit right. of a I pedestal. When I almost forgot when Phelps mentions degreasing the gun. Basically, after manufacturing, they put a grease in the gun so that it like doesn't get screwed up on delivery. And once it arrives, uh, troops were supposed to like clean up the grease from the gun in order to use it. Okay, still something more. Okay. So basically, a gun preservative. Something like that. Another smoke and whatever the hell okay, this know. is. Got more smokes. Hmm. You know what? I have manifest destiny. Give me a second. Morphine, blue room pass, stolen valors, stolen BARs. Talk to the hostess. Talk to Mug. Uh, mm. I don't know. Try and check. You still have clues? According to the intu intuition, there should still be something. Yeah. Hmm. That's the case. Try hmm. using. You know what? Let's waste an intuition point. Yeah, we have well, multiple, there. anyways. Uh, we've already been there. That's where the the smokes and the bars are. Yep. By the door. Okay. Apparently, there's something more. Wait. Didn't we check this already? Uh, oh, really? Oh, we have the box. Really? Okay, a bit closer to the... Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. A dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Okay, <laughs> what was not stolen from that damn ship? <laughs> Freaking ammunition and the ship itself? It's looking more and more like everything else was stolen from that thing. Were they robbed by Henry Stickman? <laughs> <laughs> Steal the ship. Yeah, that is an actual mission, I believe. I knew it was a no, but it's something it does. You can drive. <laughs> okay, the blue Where's room. Mm. Yeah, shouldn't we still uh, look for more, in yeah, more intel first? Actually, we do have a link because one of the dead jazz guys in the case had a ticket to the yeah. blue room, so we might as well check that. Okay. Hmm. Hold up. Okay, Rory gets to be useful. Try and not kill us on the way over, Roy. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Call these grits? Yep, Elsa Lichtman. Mm, yeah, who better to ask about the musicians than the singer? Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. You what we don't. care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. <laughs> or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink? While I see to this. Will you sit down? 
I'm pretty sure she just plain called him a stormtrooper. Why antagonize him, Elsa? I have no one I'm capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Yeah, you have work, but it doesn't seem like there's too many people here. Oh. oh. Hmm? You're an exile. Yep. People Great are dying World War of two, overdoses. Which, if you, you know, know anything about it, you need to tell me. It's the whole Nazi thing, you. so nobody really likes German A lot of cats are into the thing. That's nothing special about your boys. Why is that guy standing? Uh, doubtful. I'm doubting you. But what was that guy standing in front of the camera? No clue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of the, the saxophone or something. And she's... She's managing to keep eye contact, but she is being, well, a bit wobbly and blinky. Plus that little twitch on her eyebrow there. Okay, though. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. You're gonna use that as a lyric? Because that rhymes. It's the 40s, so I wouldn't be... My surprised. partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. I know it's racist to think every single black jazz musician knows each other, but we literally ran into the two dead guys. Who knew the other dead guys from the beginning of Vice? Yeah. So at this point, we're just rolling with it. I am doubtful, and you know these guys. Yeah, she's being shifty again. I'm saying doubt due to she being shifty. Yeah, her her and, lips are uh, also twitching up and down look, like look that. At look at the background. She was glitch. The the maid was glitching into the table and then started cleaning it. Yeah, I, I was just to mention that as well, and I should know this obviously what's going on in the background. Of course, just I'm the one who misses that. Yeah, she was walking into a chair for a few times. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Why is he brought? Boys, take five minutes, um, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Uh, wh why was he standing there with his suspenders? He was waiting why in the wrong way. Why are you asking talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. Are you so full of courage you have never felt ashamed? This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words and very noble. Completely words just words. Fucking noir speech. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixture. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Uh, and, oh. mm -hmm. The Blue Room, 10.34 p.m. So did he just wait the entire day? Looks like it. It was like five before. And... And Gruntus, read the something? Yeah, I'll read it uh, after we're done with this a little bit. Something about the rank. Let's not stick too close because, well, we've had a few failures with that. Okay, let me see. Air military rank of German SS. Okay. Okay, so she was basically just straight up calling him a fascist. Pretty much.
I'm pretty sure staying this far back in the same lane is actually more suspicious than going straight up their ass. <laughs> Too close. And we don't want to get too cold. You were basically you were practically up her ass there, Phelps. The funny thing is to say that. <laughs> Reflection in the back of the mirror. Neat detail. I do like how Phelps looks conflicted about what he's gonna do. Yeah, like he's got a sour lemon in his mouth. And of course, Earl was there watching. I just realized, where the fuck did Phelps get the car? Called it in? Or is his own car? Also, you know how you said you that Phelps was <laughs> up her ass when chasing her? Yeah. Yeah, we, we all know that he really was up her ass. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. I think he's a bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. Okay. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. You're real nice. Hey, remember this place? LAPD. We had a flashback here because they knew Hi, Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not gonna put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? <laughs> you got something to discuss, Roy? You're gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Maybe. Goldstein drug up. I do like that uh, the muscle that really Stompanato, like that's a name that definitely has stomped someone's skull in. And he immediately gets a bit more respect for Phelps upon learning that. Okay. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Shifty. But we have proof. <laughs> Gasp. I'm doubtful. Gasp no. before I like a goldfish as well. Or maybe so he's supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. And that goes yeah. your entire, you Ask know, a question you might get an answer to. Money. 
fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I? Your entire clientele. That's what yeah. I mean. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Second Jeffy. verse, same as the first. Doubt. 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 So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few n saying goodbye on the All sidewalk right. will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena We're going to be bleeping half of Roy's day. dialogue at this Prominent point. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back I to you. I swear to God, I've seen the and guy who plays Jimmy Cohen somewhere How about else? a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. You have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. And they Listen. shot at you with automatics. Hey, what's going oh, on? we go to Hollywood. Fucking please. rat no. Stoker has gone public about Brenda. I don't need to look away. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays it's her way. Are we wrong. cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? Is that true? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. But to be fair, I don't really homeless? mind prostitution. Yeah, that's the I problem. feel like prostitution should get yeah, like a, large a tree union grow. or this sort of stuff. You could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Sometimes life can get shit and just, you know, Aren't you find a job wherever you can. Yet? Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Yeah, I'm the big problem with lost, prostitution maybe. is that's often, but not always, often human trafficking is involved. Yeah, this true. Like, yeah, we, we had the Eric. a few years ago the Lover Boy scandals. Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on oh, the ship. Oh, here's a fun fact. What else um, was taken that apart guy, from the morphine? It's implied that he might have been Cole's partner in the burglary Burger? death that got cut. Okay. Case of Thompson's. Crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. <laughs> just Here checking it. it. <laughs> hey. So okay. The docks robbery to the it's back to the whole thing Club. about prostitution and human trafficking, which we stumbled into because of my big mouth. I want to stop him with one round. Let's see. Moving up to a 45. Uh, I want to stop with one round. Yeah, no, wait. We're looking for Who was it again? Driscoll? Now the DA wants my Yeah, Driscoll. Hey, you think the Spice mm. Boys get any on the side? Uh, let's see. Medical pound. Enough to arm three companies. Mm, no pistol. Power cigarettes. Hey, you think the morphine? Boys get any there we go. Side? Hey, I gave his okay, wife exactly the the AR. He said all's fair in love and war. Mouthpiece torch. No, that's the Thompson. Yeah, that's the Thompson. This is our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Now the DA wants my head. 300 of the fuckers? Okay. That is, a, that is plenty, yeah. If they manage to get away with all of them. Probably not all of them, but still just a fraction of that. Now the DA wants my head. This is the crate we recovered. Hey, I gave his wife and Valor. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of LA. You These guys are from my old unit. I want to stop. Must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, but Goldrick. 
McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club oh, here. Just His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Okay, yeah, that I that is a good reason to get all the cars moving. Like, yeah. Not like a stolen car or something like you see sometimes with 20 fucking cars behind them. Uh, this which way... Turns into, which goes ahead and turns into something out of... Like, Benny Hill? Yeah. Or Naked Gun? I think th I think there was a case recently with uh, a fucking You're forklift. Which had the entire... Oh, no, <laughs> we're already here. Okay. <laughs> I ho silver. Wait, did you say this car was pink? Yeah, pink, red, depends on the lighting. Yeah, let's see, Mickey was played by Patrick Fisher. You may have seen him in Mad Men. You might want to pick up a good... You might want to pick up something... For the sniper, I don't know, a shotgun maybe? Or maybe the Thompson. Probably, yeah. You can actually carry it. I want to point out that this guy's using a BAR as a sniper rifle, which isn't how it's supposed to be used. Yeah. Man down. Also, he really has the infinite ammo cheat code because this thing usually only have like 20 fucking yep. rounds. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a heavy gun if it can down us in like two shots. Okay. Uh, let's see, anything good that we can get out the back here? Uh, there we go, bro. The Thompson, it's probably the longest option you've got. Er, no, wait, this is a shotgun, yeah. I'm too used to rifles. He just picks up a new one immediately. Okay. Wait, what the fuck are you gonna do with a fucking shotgun and a sniper? <laughs> I, I thought it was a rifle. Are you sure you're gonna be to this from there? Wait for it, at least it's me. <laughs> Okay, he just instantly slapped back to us. And a hat just flew uh, off like a rocket. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to need to charge him. Okay, then pick up a... Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty sure we can see... We can tell where he is, dumbass. Okay, so anywhere here we can get up. Just going... To, uh, up, there we go. Going up the front is suicides. And dude's an idiot if he doesn't have anyone covering his back. Then again, we're dealing with drug business, which, well, does to tend not tend to have people being smart. Oop. Shoot him! Ooh, I think that was went straight into his esophagus. Well, that's how you taste lead, asshole. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, he was in the new Quantum Leap, season one, episode sixteen. Oh. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> okay. Then. Well, time to okay. check the dead guy and the VAR. Sniper? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, that's not a sniper. Yeah, I think I think his position and how he was using it makes it term more applicable. Okay, who the fuck are you? He's just one of Cohen's goons. Yeah. He's nameless mob goon number 183. <laughs> now, the fact that he seems to have more blood you? on him seems to imply that he... I don't know that you apparently emptied a Thompson onto him. Multiple times. And that was uh, Cohen's table. Nothing there. 
Okay. Okay, let's check the BAR. One spare magazine, apparently. Also, you're an absolute worthless shot if you need to be multiple clips. Or you're just trying to get real. You're just trying to make sure whatever you're aiming at is dead. No, that was it. I thought the click check. We have to check the clip still. I know that guy. Magazine. Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like and the, the book wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Oh, indigenous? Yes. Oh, he is. I mean, California isn't that far from, say, Mexico, so... Hmm. Let's see. And yeah, that's definitely not a more local n last name. <clears throat> Anyways, we're getting close to the time, but we can still finish this bit, I'd say. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I'm down. That's a lot of blinking. It's like he's uh, making SOS. Yeah, okay, doubt. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> well, that's, I think you know. So, you're lying. Especially given the fact that the dead guy had a, a notebook with your boss name on it. Yep. So, hmm, is a lie or doubt? I feel like we say doubt so much in this game. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is hard to tell if it's doubt or lie sometimes, just so this either or works. Also, was that a cough and a sneeze at once, <laughs> Rom? The dead guy cough. on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Right. And your name on this has nothing to do with that? Did this <laughs> with his table number on it as well? Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Owen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Yeah. But we'll have to call it there. Okay. For the okay. record, there's the phone working, so... Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and yeah, that's the last case in uh, Vice, so next week when we return to this, we'll be moving into the last desk, and yeah, the, the booklet already kind of <laughs> spoiled it each time, that'll be arson. <laughs> yep. Okay, but for now though, let's head on out here, move over here. So we can go for someone to raid before we end the stream, though. So, let me change up the screen share. Uh, right, need to move it out from behind there. Okay, there, change windows. Uh, browser, go live. Okay, now let's have a look at who are online. 
We have Reef the Leaf with Survival Kids. Okay, I think we've seen someone play that before, but I haven't seen it myself. Let's take a little peek then. Can we return to the mystical ship? All right. <laughs> I think they, they, they literally just stopped. Okay, perfect timing. <coughs> <That's> easy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go. You guys have fun. Good luck finding someone to raid. Okay, oh. see you later. And thank you for being here as always, Rom. Yeah, thank you for joining, yeah. Rom, and sleep well. You guys too. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello, someone I haven't seen in a while is back again. We have a uh, code named Ferret who is playing Xenonauts 2. From what I've heard, Xenonauts 2 is not really worth it to uh, as an upgrade from Xenonauts 1. I forget the specifics, but I heard that it's just basically more a, one, a 0.5 instead of a full on uh, worthwhile sequel. Uh, moving on, Zinebe Fen is back with the Outer Wilds. Okay. Uh, Jim McGinger gets skipped because they're playing Crosscodes. Lazarus is playing Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal again. I'm nice is <laughs> I'm nice at this point is basically becoming an Animal Crossing <laughs> YouTuber, not YouTuber, a streamer. Uh, Chubbers is still busy with Ocarina of Time. And my flanker is online with Mordhau. Hm. I thought that game was basically dead at this point. We have WBPL playing Jack 2. Touch Skilly Tail is again or still playing Risk of Rain Returns. Big V Streams are online with Morrowind. Okay. They haven't touched that in a bit, I think. Uh, Imperial Guard one off Morrowind session. Okay. And last but not least, we have Halloween. We're streaming Stalker Anomaly. Still, I think they were streaming that after our, for <laughs> when we ended our previous stream as well. Okay. Uh, who would you say to raid, or shall I pick? Let me let you pick this time, for I'm feeling a bit weird at the moment. Okay, let's go say hi to Shinibe then. And yeah, I forgot to put in the background music here, so I'll have to try and get that done before tomorrow, when hopefully we'll be able to continue with Borderlands. Otherwise, probably some necessary shenaniganery. So for now... Slash raid and paste, but before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, Grunt560 and Sensei. Thank you for lurking as usual. And as always, thank you, Ram, again, and Drakir for being here. You're welcome, all, my friend, and thank you all for joining. <laughs> and yeah, let's see. Like I said, tomorrow, hopefully, some multiplayer shenanigans with Ram and Liz, and maybe Hex in Assessi as well. Um. And yeah, after that, Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be continuing with Dawn of War 2 Retribution. <laughs> More orc time. Work! <laughs> but yeah, until then, let's get this race started. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for undead seagulls. And Roy. And Roy. <laughs> <laughs>